Well, Coach, you're back to the NCAA Championships, but this time with an athlete. Talk about Megan, the key's performance in the hammer. Megan is finished 18th in the entire country, so I cannot be mad at that. I mean, you always get a little selfish. You always want a little bit more when you get here, but she did an amazing job. She, she did everything she could. She fought, she did hard, she did everything I asked her to do, and so it's a, it's a joint success here. We're very proud of her. She's been an amazing, um, she was a, she won the Night of Champions, she's Bulldog of the Year, and she's, she finished that way. So, very proud of her, her success here. Talk about her series today and how she looked technically. Well, technically in warm-ups, we were on point. Technically in warm-ups, we were loose, but that's, you know, that's the, that's the name of the game, is whoever can manage their emotions when she, they call your name. And um, first throw, she went after it like no tomorrow, and then back off just a little bit. And so then the next throw is just everything she had, and what happens when you start trying too hard, it could go really well, or it could, you know, you could suffer a little bit. So I would never, ever, ever be disappointed in someone trying too hard. Talk about her season as a whole. Season as a whole was great. I mean, she's the only one that qualified in, at the conference meet. The conference meet, she did all of the events. I mean, she qualified for round one uh, of nationals in two events. I think she's the only athlete that did that. And um, so, I mean, she's done a great job. I mean, she's she's held down an amazing GPA. She's been. Uh, she work with SAC. I mean, she's our outreach liaison. I mean, she's done it all. She's done everything that succeeded in everything. And so she's been my right hand girl. I don't know who that's going to be next year, but she's been my right hand girl, and she helps me be places somewhat on time. Yeah, I, mean, I know every year you try to get better and get you know, more sound in certain parts of her, like technically, te technique, or mentally, or whatever. What is she basically improved on this year that's made a difference? Composure. Honestly, composure and patience. Uh, she's a freak athlete. And a lot of times when you're very strong and you're a freakish athlete, you gotta learn how to tame yourself down. So this year she's really learned. It's kind of the the, the little mo mo motto or mon mantra or whatever was slow and steady. So slow and steady was where she's always been her best. Sometimes I was slow and steady, we needed a little bit more. So when I asked her to do a little bit more, right, it just, you know, sometimes it was great and sometimes a little bit off. But. So she's she's definitely succeeded. We've learned a lot, but so, composure. So how excited were you to be actually be here and watch her throw and be a part of this? Well, you know what? I was in a two-year drought. Uh, my first job, I went two straight years indoor, outdoor, indoor, outdoor, and then my first few years here, uh, went to nationals, uh, multiple All-Americans, and then these last two years we've been in a drought. And I said somebody's got to take me to nationals, and. Um, you know, we went to the round one of NCs. Uh, we had four bullets and uh, three came a little short. And she said uh, on her last throw going in, she's like, I'm going to take my coach to nationals. So, you know, I can't ask for anything more. I'm here. And uh, this this is the bonus. We wanted the cherry on top, but that's okay. I'll take the bonus. So you've had her from this for several years now. Talk about her development as a person, as a student, and also an athlete for the last four years. Well, she already came um, a treasure. She came day one as somebody that I knew was going to be a program maker and uh, definitely someone that separated herself from other people. So um, she's developed so much. She's matured as an individual. I think uh, we've got a lot of firsts together, whether it's off the field or on the field. And uh, so it, it's been a pleasure seeing her grow as a woman. And she's going to make an amazing coach at San Jose State. And uh, she's going to go for 2016 Olympics. So it's not the end. This is just a, the end of this chapter. And where's she ranked right now in the U.S.? Uh, she, I, she could tell you. Yeah. She whispers it in my ear right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's top. Yeah. <laughs> she's top in the United States of America. <laughs> Yeah, she's my stat girl. Yeah. I'm pretty much in the moment kind of person. Like right now, she's number one to me. Yeah. And uh, wherever she falls in the U.S., she falls. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Great season for her and also a great wrap-up for her career. So, good odds. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah.